Hey there, I am Flo and I am the developer of the Rich Snippets WordPress plugin. I want to explain a few things about the Schema Markup to you because lots of people ask for it. Yes, Rich Snippets and Schema Markup in general are very powerful, but it seems that a lot of people don't get how it works. I guess the reason for this is that it's a very technical topic and a few years ago it was difficult to integrate into a page but it's not that difficult to understand, as you can see now. So the main questions are What is Schema Markup and what are rich snippets? Why is it so powerful? And how can I integrate it into my website? Let's take a look onto the front page of my plugin. You, as a human, immediately recognize that this website is about a software product, that the product is a WordPress plugin, and you can see that it has a price when I scroll down. Search engines are maybe the smartest algorithms on earth, but they have one disadvantage. They are not humans. So for them, it's super difficult to understand all this out of the box. So how can search engines recognize all this? The answer is schema markup. All the big search engines have joined forces to create one vocabulary that every search engine can understand when they crawl a single page. You can find the full vocabulary on schema.org. Just go to documentation and click on the full type hierarchy. The list here shows what's possible at the moment. The words you can read here are called classes or types. They are hierarchical, that means the more you go down the tree, the more specific the class gets. So if I scroll down a little bit more, you can see, for example, the car. So if I would sell a car on my page, I would use the car class. Search engines could then understand that the page is about a car, which is a vehicle which is a product. For me there is no specific class so I would just use the product class to mark up the front page for my WordPress plugin. When you click the link you can see a list of so-called properties. These properties are here to describe a class even more. So for example every product has a name and a description. Let's see if I can find here. Yeah, here's the name. And here's the description. As you can see, you could add even more like an image or a brand name and so on. Let's go back to the plugin page. I've extracted the important things into a file to make it easy for you to understand. At the current state, search engines can only extract the text, which is kind of like this. The name, the description and our price. Now there are different formats that allow you to mark up the text. And uh, the first is called microdata. It was the de facto standard for a long time. As you can see, it's integrated into a page HTML code and therefore making it difficult to read for humans and be difficult to maintain for non-technical users. Here you can see our name and the description and of course the price. The second format is called RFDA, which is kind of the same markup, also integrated into the HTML code. And the very third and the very last format is called JSON plus LD. And this format is the format Google and other search engines want to see nowadays. This format has two main advantages. The first one is it's super easy to read, not only for search engines but also for humans and second it must not be integrated into the text or into any HTML text thing it can stand on its own it only has key value pairs like you can see here we have our product markup with the properties name description and here the price everything is structured that's why schema markup is often called structured data as well now I've answered the question what schema markup is and why it's necessary. 
now I want to answer the question why it's so powerful. The first reason is in Google's Webmaster Tools you can see that search engines indexes markup data already. I don't work at Google but I'm pretty sure that this has something to do with search engine optimization as well. Why? Because obviously the better search engines can understand what's on your site, the better they can improve their search results. And the second reason is some of the schema markups can create so-called rich snippets or rich search results. Google has a list of markups that can result in a rich snippet. For example, the recipe snippet. The recipe markup may show an image, a user rating, the total cook time and the total calories of a dish. I guess you can understand why rich snippets are powerful. They could attract more attention to the end user. Okay, let's answer the last question. How can I integrate it into my WordPress website? Since the JSON plus LD format is the de facto standard to create schema markup, it's easy for a plugin to output this data on a page. You don't need any coding skills, only the basic knowledge of how a schema markup is built. For example, if you want to create a markup for a product, just take a look at the property list I've shown previously. Then decide what properties you need and then add them to your personal product class right within WordPress. In my example, I search for a product. This one here. And then the plugin will preload some properties already. I can delete them if I don't need it. Let's say I just need the name and the description. I click edit text input and fill in the fields. And that's basically it. Of course, the plugin can do a lot more, but I will show you everything in the videos that are coming up next. If you now use Google's Rich Snippet Test Tool, you can see my personal markup for a product. Like this one here. And it has all the properties that I've added. Like the image, the rating, and of course the price. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and you are one of my next customers very soon. Have a nice day. Bye bye.